क्लास एट वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन चिल्ड्रन सो फार यू मस्ट हैव कम टू नो दैट योर समर वेकेशन इज अराउंड द कॉर्नर ओके एंड हॉलीडेज आर मेन टू बी अ टाइम ऑफ रिलैक्सेशन स्ट्रेस फ्री फन बट एट द सेम टाइम इट इज द बेस्ट टाइम टू यूटिलाइज योर लेजर और योर फ्री टाइम बट हाउ टू यूटिलाइज इट यू नो यू आर स्टेइंग एट होम यू के नॉट गो आउट टू प्ले एंड टू यू नो हैंग आउट विद योर फ्रेंड्स बट बाय कम्प्लीटिंग योर वर्कस यू नो नाउ यू विल बी रिसीविंग योर एथ असाइनमेंट आफ्टर कम्प्लीटिंग टूडेज टॉपिक सो प्लीज यूटिलाइज दीज हॉलीडेज बाय कम्प्लीटिंग नॉट ओनली योर एथ असाइनमेंट बट ऑल्सो Uh, completing your pending works as well as by uh, revising them too okay and uh, you know there are many children who have not sent or completed their uh, previous assignments their remaining assignments and even there are few more who uh, have not even uh, you know kept the records of the record of those work uh, where they'll have to do the corrections so kindly check from first assignment to eighth assignment and see whether these uh, those assignments have been completed or sent by you or not okay uh, now today uh, we will do uh, we will complete the remaining part of lesson number 2 and uh, after completing it uh, we will uh, discuss the question answers and other exercises too and uh, i hope that uh, you will not only complete your work but also send them on time clear so children let us start that uh, very few portion is left to complete uh, come to page number 19 and that to the last paragraph that is second last paragraph okay now see as uh, so far you have come to know that uh, tapa had been sent on a recce of a rental place by his grandmother the eldest aunt of uncle okay he had gone there he had found a good place to live he went back but he got upset when he observed that uh, the aunt had the aunt's family had moved to the another place in ghatsila then the years passed and uh, he had become a family man okay and after 15 years when he again visited the same place in kadsiyong he decided to go to the same rental area okay and now what had happened to him again it was raining okay and he found the same uh, uh, you know that uh, before 15 years when he was a boy he had come there and he had met an english man now what happened when after 15 years he came back to that place again let's see clear every bit of this visit mirrored his previous one mirrored means he had start recalling what had happened 15 years before okay he remembering those days he started remembering those days it was the reflection of the um, time when he came 15 years before the charming house the same place the charming house the crude creaky gate the absence of the watchman as he had was as he was not able to meet the watchman the first time also and the second time also he was unable to meet the open glass door the light in the bedrooms and the water from the taps as uh, you know that it was well furnished house okay as if there were not enough clouds enveloped the sky you know again the clouds you know Uh, the sky was covered with the clouds uh, and it seemed as if it will rain soon the mountains and the valley in blinding darkness and it began to rain heavily the same way all things happen in the same way as it happened 15 years before suddenly tapa heard knock on the door now again knock on the door you know who had come 15 years before an englishman now who will come let's see 
just as on that night fifteen years ago he opened the door before him there stood an old rickety englishman with a small briefcase do you remember children now the same englishman was very weak hollow cheeks hollow eyes okay and the same man who had visited Tapa years ago, his eyes were hollow, his face pale and his teeth chattered from the cold. He was, you know, shivering. Tapa saw the patches of moss and mud on his trousers. Remember, same thing happened as, uh, same thing is happening as it happened many years before may i please come in he asked in the same way he asked as he asked uh, that time tapa held the door wide open held the door he got scared and he remembered the experience which he received or which he had gone through many years ago and all the scene all the things all the you know mm, uh, the th which had happened to him the things which had happened to him it all came in front of him and slid past the englishman he quietly he tried to move away quietly from the englishman and tore down the curve path towards the railway station and he tried to run away towards the railway station in order to save himself not save himself as he got scared okay and uh, what he thought that the rain lashed on without stopping it was raining heavily and that too continuously okay no stop no stopping the rain was not stopped okay it did not stop for a single moment not once did tapa stop to look back he did not waste even a single minute to look back as who is that to know who is that english man so here the story ended now the question arises what have you understood okay did you like the ending part of the story okay have you gone through uh, such a mysterious incident ever in your life this is the question okay this question uh, makes uh, this lesson makes us think of supernaturalism okay uh, where the things happen but it seemed quite unnatural okay meeting of that old man twice 15 years before and the happening of the same things 15 years before and 15 years after 15 years to the same person tapa with the same old man okay meeting with the old man so these things are enough for tapa to understand that something happened to him and the place is really very horrible okay now let us discuss the question answers in the beginning of the chapter the question is asked what does the phrase to have a narrow escape mean discuss in class in class means let us discuss here you know i have already uh, told you that uh, means that having a close call manage to save oneself or to make being able to make it out okay just in time okay second so describe an incident when you had a narrow escape something or someone you can describe the things you know you have many uh, stories with you you can make out your own stories also you have come across many things in your life you know so you have to uh, discuss with your parents with your friends what had happened to you or what have you come across which may which made you think that there is something okay horrible things which had happened to your life or which had happened to you clear now the question comes that is see the first part that uh, uh, the story uh, right true or false for the statements again the story is told by the relative of tapa now you know that uh, the story is told by the relative of tapa yes or no of course yes narrator Tapa was traveling to Ghatsila to inspect a house. True or false? False. Because he went where? To Ghatsiong. Ghatsila who went? The family. Before Tapa could reach the house, he was caught in a storm. False. 
When he reached there, it started raining. Tapa was visited by an old Englishman. True. Tapa's family finally chose to go to Karsia Falls. Where? Gadzilla. They had decided to move to Gadzilla. When Tapa revisited the place, after 15 years, the same watchman opened the door for him. The same watchman? No. He was an Englishman. Okay. And he did not meet the watchman. Okay. Uh, nobody opened. It was opened only. The door was quite open when he revisited also. Okay. So these were the questions. Uh, these were the true, uh, true and false. Now let us discuss question answer. Answer these questions. Why was Tapa sent to Nareki? As I had asked you earlier also, he was sent to Nareki because the narrator's eldest aunt um, uh, had refused to go to a new place and uh, re to relocate um, to a new house because um, and she had uh, decided not to go to a place which she had not seen before. Clear. Describe what Tapa saw when he entered the house. What did he, what did he see? Entered when he entered the house, he saw a long hall. Okay, and there was a mat made of uh, coconut dry shells, and uh, there were sofas, tables, and uh, coats and umbrellas. And he went to the bathroom also. He had seen the house in a good uh, condition, well furnished. What did the guest do after having tea? You know, who is the guest? That is Englishman. And what did he do after having tea? The guest opened. He had opened his um, bundles, that is of money. Okay, he had, uh, you know, bunches of 100, uh, rupee, 100 uh, rupees note. And uh, what did he do? Uh, he uh, laid them on the floor, on the mat to get them dry. Okay. Give evidence from the story that Tapa was little suspicious of his guest. He was a bit, a bit curious man. Okay. And uh, uh, you know. Um, but he wanted to ask uh, about the money from the Englishman. But the Englishman avoided talking to him on this matter or, or any matter. How long did Tapa stay in the house before returning? Tapa stayed in house for three whole days before returning home because though he had decided to return home the next morning when he came. But unfortunately, it was raining so heavily. Okay, that's why he returned after three days. Now, who said to whom? Uh, why don't you change into some warm clothes and have some tea, please? Who said these words to whom? You know, who said these words? Japa said these words to Englishman. Okay. And uh, why did the speaker ask the person to change into warm clothes? Because it was completely drenched and it was continuously raining. Okay. So, where had the other person come from? This is a very confused question. You can, even you can imagine from where he had come from and... Uh, he might be the ghost. You can say as there is some supernatural, a supernatural power, or he must have come from the graveyard. That uh, and uh, as he had moss and uh, mud on his trousers. Okay, you can write your own answer. Okay, that is based on your imagination. Now, where had the person come from? Okay, what did Tapa? What did Tapa do to make the person comfortable? It's a very nice question. What did he do? As he was a kind, uh, you know, host. So he had given him, offered him tea, and uh, he gave him warm clothes to wear, and he arranged his bed, and even offered uh, two uh, blankets also. Okay. Uh, and he even he gave his own uh, hot water bottle and he kept under his feet too uh, so that he could feel the warmth of that bottle the hot water bottle now the second tapa held the door wide open slid past the englishman and tore down the curved path towards the railway station describe the englishman appearance you know he had hollow eyes pale face and uh, uh, he had small briefcase he was a uh, rickety old 
Englishman, very weak, not very strong. Why did Tapas slide past the Englishman? Why he slide? Why he moved away? Because the English, he thought he uh, took Englishman as a ghost. So he got scared. He got frightened. That's why he ran away. What does the phrase to down means? It means to move away or to run with great speed. Okay. Uh, what does Tiapa's action tell us about his state of mind? That he got scared, he got frightened uh, to see the Englishman again. The same Englishman 15 years before and the same day when he revisited that place. So now come to think and answer. This also you have to do. Why does the narrator feel that reader might think of his story as a cock and bull once? Because it has a mysterious, you know, suspense in it. Okay, the uh, we get confused whether this story is real or unreal uh, and some ghostly element also in it. So uh, that's why it is a cock and we uh, take the story as a cock and bull story to cock and bull story, you know, made up story based on imagination. Uh, which you could say fictitious okay so how would you have felt and reacted if you were in Tiapa's place and had answered the, that it is it depends on you how to take this uh, question okay you write your own answer uh, if in place of Tiapa I were there I could have uh, I also uh, you know I would have uh, got scared okay i would have even screamed also run out also so you write your own answer and send them to me so i hope you have understood the chapter and even enjoyed it also now i hope you will enjoy and utilize your holidays and also revise you know continue revising your works clear so till then, enjoy your holidays in good spirit and come again, come back refreshed and rejuvenated. Clear children? Okay, that's all for today. So, wishing you all the best. Enjoy and stay home. Okay, and stay safe.